all right it's a wonderful saturday and today we're going to be talking about something you probably have seen something you probably have used or maybe you've heard of it but you just haven't found the time to use it so i'm going to talk to you guys today about a software called sweet home 3d and what the software is is basically a software that you can use either as an architect or an interior designer to create um interiors of your home or maybe just very simple architectural designs and the cool thing about the software is it is totally free so it simply means that you have zero payment for all the stuff that you're going to use and that's a big thumbs up to the guys that are working over this stuff and then you know trying to make this thing look as incredible as it is if you want to check out maybe what's been fixed the stuff's about this you can always you know go over to the website which is sweet home 3d com and maybe go over to the features and then you can find that it is basically what i would call a standard 3d program that does or delivers what it promises unlike uh tools like Sketch sketchup and all that, that i covered previously that you know they uh keep bringing up tons of uh updates and you know they call them features these guys simply promises what they can do and what they cannot do they try as much as possible to stay out from it or probably don't even talk about it so what we're going to do today is we're going to be looking at the software we're going to be getting you through the software and then we can go ahead and maybe get this stuff export it into twin motion render it down there and maybe you can see for yourself the amazing things you can use this software for so once you go over to the website, which is uh, Sweet Home 3D, you're going to go over to the download panel. And if you go over to the download, then you can find the download button. Uh, fortunately, this software exists for Windows, Mac, and also Linux. So in case you are wondering how to get started with it, definitely you can get for the entire platforms that you want they also have some plugins and tools for support which you can also find in the plugin section of the website other things that you can see is uh, if you go over to the website you can see some bug reports and then if you want to donate you can also donate all of those amazing things you know it's free so there's a couple of things that you can get your hands on the only thing i don't really like about it is you only have one particular export and the export you only have is obj file you cannot export fbx and to me i think obj simply holds color while the other one holds material or fbx holds way more material than obj files so let's uh quit talking about this and open up the software and see what it looks like so i have the software here it's called uh, sweet home 3d and how you can get started with this you can see how simplified the entire interface is and this is something i like about softwares that promises to deliver once you have a simple ui definitely i'm going to give you a look however the only complaint which i have about the software is that the icon seems to be a little bit small i don't know if it's because of my screen size but for me i think the icons are a little bit small other things i would love to get is if we can get this menus i am no longer a fan of you know having icons here it might work for some cases if you have like your save new and all that but maybe for some other things you know just like i talked about the sketchup video maybe the icons should be here i don't know i think if it feels fine and it looks fine for your icons to be here do i use photoshop too much maybe okay so next thing which i would like to show you guys is this that once you go over to this part where you have plan you can create walls so creating walls are pretty simple so all you have to do is just click drag and you can see automatically it updates in the 3d uh once you start doing this this would be great for architects that are trying to you know create very simplified stuff get it over with you know and just get on, on on the way with it but if you want to go ahead and start adding doors and all that stuff of course you can still do that in the plan but i don't really think this software can handle very complicated stuff but if you have things that are very simplified a story building maybe two story building definitely you can go ahead and try this another cool thing about the software that i like so much is the fact that it comes with pre-built assets the, the software which we're talking about which is this one is simply 50 megabytes of storage and you can get all of this stuff you get all your stairs you can get some miscellaneous stuff like your cylinder boxes over here you can get your armchair your your windows your doors your bedroom stuff all of the amazing things very simple stuff that you would want to have just to get going when you start making your design it is not something that you can use for over complicated design but for the basic stuff that you need i think if sketchup can integrate something like this don't tell me about the warehouse that is something totally different i'm just saying 
if you download SketchUp with that amount of file size and it has this stuff pre-built inside, I think it's going to save a lot of people's life rather than purchasing tons and tons of plugins or maybe just running over to the warehouse every single time. Around your viewport here is uh, once you have this selected, you can use the control. So if you hold down control, roll your middle mouse button, you can go in and go out. Other ways you can do this. Uh, or other ways you can navigate around this is once you roll without holding your middle mouse button you can go up and also you can you can go down the 3d viewport is like this you can also choose to you know scale up the 3d viewport so with the 3d you can also use the middle mouse button to uh scroll in and scroll down like uh, roll in and roll out and also you can use the right mouse button to orbit around your scene there are two ways you can work within the 3d so the first way is this the first way is you use this area view which you can simply you know just look around and you can hold down Control shift and d to jump into the virtual visit virtual visit simply means that you can now simply visit or look around your entire scene let me open up a scene where they have something really incredible going on there so that we can look at it together so i have this scene here which is a template that exists or that comes with it and kidding me it is 50 mb and it has a template attached to it so what does this do it simply is a predefined stuff that has been created so if i just simply right click and go to the virtual tour or hold down Control shift and d you see i can just simply you know just tour around this look around you know like it is my home and you can see the tiny character here so you can click this tiny character and you know just move him around just to look around and see what the entire thing feels like other things I would like to also uh, share is if you bring in, let's go in and just simply drag a bed and drop it somewhere like this. If you bring in an asset inside this, there are ways you can control these assets. Okay, so if you bring in an asset here and you want to go ahead and rotate, you can simply rotate using the handle on the left or on the right, depending on the asset which you're bringing in. Let's uh, jump out of this view. So now we're in the 3D view. What we can do now is if you hold down this, you can also use this to increase and reduce the height. So let me just uh, get a hold of that. You can increase and reduce the height of the model or of the asset that you're trying to play with. Also with this, you can scale and you know you can reduce or compress that as well. You can also use this you know, to raise this up or down. So if you want to take it to the first floor, second floor, depending on where you want to position this in your scene, you can simply use this to walk around. It is really a very, very simple uh, app for you to use. And once you're done, you can just simply maybe make a render. If you want to make a render, take a picture. If you want to take a picture, make a 3D video. If you want to make a 3D video, if you want to go ahead and just simply uh, add text, you can also use this to add text. So I would like to know what you guys think about this. If you want to use this, if you want to download it, you know, play with it. It's just 50 MB. You can just play with it and see what it looks like. So what I'm going to do next is your first question is going to be, how does this look when you get it out? Out of uh, Sweet Home 3D so that is where we're going to you know talk about the stuff you may not be able to get the kind of render that you would want to get out of this this app basically has its strength when it comes to making the model but not rendering it so for you to render you may have to take this to another 3d app so if you have uh, something like Blender, for example, it is an amazing 3D app that you can make use of. So you can get this out, ship it over to Blender, render it. You can also get this out and ship it over to another 3D app or something that you can use for rendering. So for our own case, what we did is we're taking this directly from here and we're bringing it to Twinmotion. So if you want to learn more about Twinmotion, we have a lot of videos and we have a long playlist in the channel. You can go over there and learn how to make use of Twinmotion. So what we've done here is we just simply imported this. If you just press F on your keyboard, we are going to zoom right inside. So what we want to do inside here, which is Twin Motion, is we may want to just simply change uh, a couple of things, like the glass, for example. So we want to render this and you know get it out of the way and see how it looks like. So we want to render. I uh, want to add uh, the glass. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to just simply select the glass, and instead of selecting the glass and saying buy color replacement I'm going to use by object because I just want to replace only the glasses individually so I'm just going to put a clear glass there another clear glass here another clear glass somewhere like here 
and then that's uh, about it let's just add one more okay so now we have that there other things which are other things which i've done before now is uh we just simply brought in a bed to switch up the bed that we had earlier here which is this one so every other thing now is going to be a time lapse so you can sit back relax enjoy this while i talk to you guys later couple of minutes this is just what we could come up with i don't know what you guys think about this is it something you want to play with would you like to install this app and try it for yourself if you're an architect using sketchup would you want to you know try your hands on this see what it does for you at the same time it builds your plan same time it builds your 3d something that revit does and something that sketchup does as well but the fact is it's free and you can go ahead and use it i want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below if you like this video simply give it a like and also share with your friends and if you're new here and you want to learn more about twin motion or maybe some other tutorials or reviews you want to know about some rants you want to also know about my reactions for some software you can find all those things in the channel by some simply subscribing and then turning on notifications so that you don't miss any update which i'm going to do from now on and until i see you guys later with some news rants tutorial review or other things like this peace